What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. VP Tactical here. Been just a little bit since we did a video, so I figured it was probably about time for putting one up for you. And so today we're going to be talking a little bit about the 1911, uh, just more specifically about how to strip it. So this might be great for new gun owners or folks who maybe, you know, shot it, forgot how to take it apart or, or take it down, so to speak. Um, so we'll go ahead and dive right in. And of course, uh, we're always gonna do our safety checks, make sure that that mag is empty, and that of course the chamber is empty as well. And we can go ahead and discharge it since there's nothing in there, we confirmed. And then basically what we're gonna do, um, and this guy here is, we'll go ahead and start stripping it down, but basically this guy here, if you haven't seen one of these, this is actually to remove your barrel bushing. Some people might call it a barrel nut to each their own. This is going to make your life a lot easier, but of course that also comes with a caveat. Caveat is that you have to be careful because you could potentially launch some parts into the atmosphere. So all that being said, what we'll do here, let's take a look at the gun. So we got our barrel bushing right here. And so basically what this tool does is pushes down on this plunger, which has your recoil spring in here along with the recoil guide. And basically uh, this will pop right out once we take this off. Some guns, uh, depending upon if it's brand new or not, um, this one happens to be, well, a little a little older, probably I'd say about a year or two at this point, but it does um, come out much easier. I mean, you, you may wrench on it and it feel like it's never gonna come off, but this tool, like I said, will definitely make a very big difference. So you pretty much just to press down on that and you wanna keep your finger over that spring because as that barrel bushing comes, you're going to see now that the spring and the plunger actually want to come right out. And so those, at least this part can come out. And everyone has their own method of doing it, how you want to take it off. Um, this guy is actually pretty tight. So, and then of course, with this guy, so now you'll see that spring pressure um, the, re the recoil springs out of there, it's going to be much easier to take this out. And so pretty much what you'll do at this point, you can flip the gun over, push on that, that pin. Because basically what you're going to want to do, uh, once you have it lined up, of course, and so there's going to be that spot right there. So there's that second notch. So the first one would be normally, the gun normally locks back after it's empty. And there's that second notch there, which is for removal. So now you can see that when we push on this, should pop right out. We may have to wiggle it a little bit. That's tight, so, and depending upon how many rounds you have through your gun, it may or may not want to come out easy. Looks like this one might fight me a little bit. So I'm gonna get something to poke out the back side here. All right, so I fussed with it just a little bit more and it really just a matter of getting it at the right angle. You see how you've got that little ledge right there? That basically has to match up with that curvature. And so if you have it just slightly off, it's not gonna come out. So we managed to get it just right. And so now that pin just pops right out. We'll take off that whole assembly. So literally just slide right off. Good to go there. Let's see mine's uh, Nice and oiled from the last time that I had cleaned it. Now with the whole barrel assembly, you should have all of the pressure off all of these components here. And so you can go ahead and pull your spring out. And then here, we'll pretty much just be at this point, removing the barrel bushing. So this is what ultimately keeps the barrel tight. So you can see, you know, the barrel just being in there, it's gonna wanna flop around and be loose. And the whole point of this barrel bushing is to keep things extremely tight because the tighter that that fit is here um, essentially the better your accuracy is going to be so that's a very critical piece to mention what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and pop this out and it pretty much just comes out just like that and then now you'll be able to slide your barrel Make sure that little piece is down. This is where that one pin that comes out the side actually indexes into. And then now the barrel, you want to flip that guy forward. 
barrel just pop right out and there you go and that's pretty much it so that's a field stripped 1911 and then of course pretty much to put it back together you're just going to do the reverse so we'll just do that really quickly because there is a couple of key points to, to make mention about this so we're going to slip that barrel back in we're all going to go ahead This might be easier to do when you have the barrel up just slightly because it takes pressure off of this. What we're going to do is go ahead and slip our recoil spring back in with that retaining or guide. And then and this is actually much easier to do. I'm not going to bother to put this, this plunger back in right now um, on the end. Because when you do this, then you'll, you'll want to get, you'll end up getting some buckling here. So the easiest thing to do is actually to put the, the slide back on the gun first. I, I would recommend that. That's going to make your life much, much easier. An important thing is here, and this is what I was talking about, that caveat. When you put it in, if you have this back or if you have it, you know, kind of cocked like this, it's not going to allow you to put the pin back through this hole here. So what happens is when you're lining that up, that pin is actually going directly into that hole. And that's what's retaining the, the whole upper assembly to the pistol, so not allowing it to slide completely off. So at least you kind of get the idea there. And so it can be a little tricky, just something to be aware of. So we're gonna go ahead and slide that guy back on. And again, we're gonna try and keep that as level as possible. And now you should be able to see that piece in there. Now you can actually see that little metal ring and that kind of gives you an idea. And you might wanna, just to start it, get that in there. And you'll notice it is gonna be a little bit tough, but then once you get it actually back to that one spot, like we talked about, then you'll actually be able to get your pin back in. You may have to fuss with it a little bit. And there you go. And then it should just click right in, just like that. Okay. All right, so now that we got that piece back in, we're good to go there. And we can let our hammer down. I'm not gonna mess with that. And so now basically we're just gonna go ahead and put that plunger back in. And again, this one's gonna be under tension, so. You may need to use that tool right out the gate. Right. And we have to muscle around a little bit. And there you go. Now it basically just clicks right in place and you can see it's indexed. So that way it's tight right up against that. And now, Pistol's done. She's good to go. So hopefully this little tutorial was helpful for you. At least gave you some insight as far as how to take down your 1911. Again, do you absolutely need this tool to do it? No, but it's going to make your life a heck of a lot easier. Trust me, even with a gun that's had uh, probably close to a you know, thousand plus rounds ran through it already at this point. Um, that barrel bushing still is extremely tight, especially at, at certain points when you have the barrel, depending upon the length of where it's at inside of this uh, upper slide uh, or the slide itself, can still be very, very tight. As you can see, sometimes I, you know, it's, I can't even move with my fingers versus you know, just using this tool, you can easily muscle it over. It just makes life much easier. If you don't have one, you can probably pick one up online. I mentioned for like five or 10 bucks, something of that sort. And this one actually came with the gun. So hopefully this is informative. If you like my videos, again, um, all of my stuff is self-funded, so really appreciate all the support. It definitely helps me out. Hit that like and subscribe button. You can also find me on Instagram too, at VP Tactical one I do wish you all a wonderful rest of your week. Stay safe and healthy and uh, be vigilant and stay safe. Thank you.